Is Kevin De Bruyne ready to return? No, both cannot play tomorrow. And De Bruyne? Both, both cannot, can't play tomorrow. Both cannot play tomorrow. How much, how much longer are you expecting them to be out for? Soon, soon both will be back soon. Mauricio Sarri has gone on record to say that Manchester City, in his opinion, are the best team in Europe at the moment and possibly in the world. How much of a compliment is that coming from him and what do you make of the job that he's doing at Chelsea at the moment? Thank you, but we are not the best. To be the best, you have to win in the titles and we didn't win the titles to be the best team in Europe. So the job he has done so far, my point of view is excellent, so the people doesn't know how difficult it is to create and a special way to play, you need time, everybody needs time, but uh, what he has done so far, because apart the last two games, we're winning against Tottenham away is so, com so difficult and involves too, so that can happen, especially in that league, but uh, he's going to do that. So because uh, just in precision, when we play against, against them in the community shield, the team it was, was there, it was already his team, the way he want to play, but you know he needs time. But maybe they are not, they don't are not playing 90 minutes. But when they play good, 50, 60, 70, 75 minutes, they are excellent. Your 15 games unbeaten in the Premier League. I know you've maintained the stance that you will lose at some point. But as you keep remaining unbeaten, as you tick the games off, is it becoming a more realistic possibility that you could go unbeaten through the whole season? I don't care about that. But I mean, it's, it's, it's the less important things uh, the, and the most important things that we have to think about it. So I don't care, believe me. It's just the next game to try to win the game, to play good. That is our, our target. It's not important. Pep, what do you think is the biggest danger to your team at the moment? It's been on such a fantastic run for 15, 16 months now. When I... I delight the most, or the fact I am proud the most, is the fact that 50, 60 months we are consistent every three days. That is the most difficult thing. So Champions League sometimes is seven games. But 60 months every three days, that is the most difficult in all sports and all athletes. That's why it's a big compliment for the players. They know it and I repeat them, I tell them every day. But at the same time, we can drop two points the last game in 10 minutes. So after 0 2, we were not the best side in the best way playing in Watford and also there are many many as well there are many many things we can do better better so and and tomorrow have a and a huge demanding test for us in game how how is our behavior against good teams and in, in the biggest stages for prepare the last six months for the preparing Europe so how we're we going to react how we're going to play against team after losing two games, so we'll be focused 100%. I can imagine how intense, how aggressive, how commit they will be to don't accept three defeats in a row in the Premier League. And that's why it will be a good test for us how we react on that. So at the end, 15 months is the past. It's a good signal to say, OK, we are consistent, but next, next challenge. That's why it's nice football. So nothing is going to change football when you are in that period in December, January, when you win and lose, it's become. It doesn't matter how it's become, because in two or three days later, you have another test, and that is when you have to fort. And what, what do you think is the biggest danger to your team? Think, think, uh, we c basically think that it's not necessary to improve. That will be the most dangerous thing. So I see my team, and many things are good, but still, we can do better. Pepe, are you more concerned by the fact that Chelsea have lost their last two games? Does that make this uh, a much more interesting, difficult game, in your opinion? Always a Stamford Bridge is difficult. I think I, I travelled there many times in my career like a, as a manager. I, I won once last season. So most of the time I lose there. So not just for the stadium itself, for the history of Chelsea in the last 20 years, two decades in terms of results, and especially because they are a good side, a really, really good team. When you see 
his 11 is people in the bench, you know, that don't play regularly, but they are an excellent player. So he's a real contender, an excellent team. Uh, you've got three wingers in Riyad Mahrez, Sergio, uh, Leroy Sane and Raheem Sterling. They're all in brilliant form. So how do you choose between them for a big game like that tomorrow? Well, what is the best for the team? <laughs> I'm going to choose for the best of the team like, like every day to win the game and for respect for all the players.